Here's Mitchell looking to take on and the kick out here to Butler for his first look. The best three-point shooting team in the country. Yeah, Mitchell can start to break off the rebound. Yeah, they got three or four choices who can do exactly that. And we got a jump ball call. It'll be Baylor basketball. We love that you have four guys at vital to the mix where you flat out. Have the basketball and make plays. Felt defensively right now for Hartford. Swarming defense. As you can see, Baylor, that's what they're hitting their head on. Teague passing up the three, tries the shovel pass, and Baylor turns it over. We got a blocking foul that time on Butler. At all. Making the most of the opportunity. The Hawks program and school debut in the NCAA tournament, pure for Maceo Teague. Decoder coming off a 19-point championship game performance and just forcing that one up. Meyer making it tough. On the push, a three-on-one, look out! Looking to take Thamba on. Inside, the floater won't fall for Henry. Good look. Switched up the defense. They've gone to this 1-3-1 one, one defense. They've gone to man-to-man, -to -man, and they have missed shots after Jared Butler knocked down that first three. And keep in mind, this is a Baylor basketball team, third in the country. They put up 84 points per game. And it's Butler who walks with it. Yeah, too much dribbling right there for Stalker. Butler getting shut down and the reach in there for P.J. Henry. Now he's picked up his second. This is what makes Myers special at 6'9". Look at him handle and make plays. Butler will take the look. Nice field goal, 10 points in the paint for Hartford out of their 14 points. The alley-oop that time, there's the connection. Chawa Chachua wasn't going to miss it that time. Try to give the guards a lot more space to be able to drive it. It's not a shot that he normally does, just his eighth three-point make of the season. Off oh, nice. done an excellent job. His nickname, Davion Mitchell, has the ability to be able to shut down guards. You said it, Smitty. That's a matchup that's fun to watch. It is. Butler gets it. And now with seven points for Gerard, for Jared Butler. Just playing defense, being able to break down the defense. The big is dropped, whether it's a three-pointer. Uh-oh. Mm, Jared Butler. Back in Florida, we got a chance to watch it. Here's a replay. They called the foul on number 12, Stoffel, but it's only 11, P.J. Henry. That is his third personal. And they were sorting all that out. It's in really his first few minutes of, of playing time in this half, but has not scored since. Put a pressure by the Baylor Bears. Mm. The turnover, Butler with the pull-up. Not there. The 11th turnover for Hartford in this half. Teague with the triple drop. Defensively for the Hartford Hawks. Backdoor look here for Teague. Body control, finish for two. Baylor is imposing their wheel right now. Almost got cut off there at baseline. Final few seconds here of the half. And it's a push off there by Butler. That'll be number two on Jared Butler. The Hunter's done a nice job of being able to battle down there. Missed this free throw, eight seconds left. Let's see if Butler can get it off. Five to shoot. Butler just gets smothered at that time. Michael Dunn will put it up. Shooting performance for him. He was one of eight shooting. That was 80% down. It just rolled out for him. Sometimes he got days and nights like those. Butler pursuing his own miss and the foul committed here from Hartford. Harder. And that's his third, by the way. And right now, Gallagher not looking towards his bench. It's Teague who's looking for the three-point shot. Really deep into their bench if he gets in any more foul trouble. He gets turned away from the baseline. Oh, how did Butler recover from that? And a double dribble call, but my goodness, Smitty. He got beat on the defensive pump fake, and then he was able to commit the steal. Quickly, let's watch. Spin, and then watch him be able to get right back into the play. They're up 22, but just playing the game the right way. That's how you share it. Butler struggling from three. Jamwa Chachua couldn't get it that time, and the speedy Henry trying to beat everyone down the floor, and the reach-in foul committed. This is where your leadership and Jared Butler has to take over. Just about to say that. You would think this is where Butler or maybe Teague will answer. Session you want a quick shot if you the Baylor Bears. You got to run some clock, get some execution. 
Oh, Butler, that one earned me now. How many times have you said that? Carter with the fadeaway. And Butler out to Flagler, who gets hacked that time by Stovall. Brought eight. They're going deep into their rotation. Well, that Oral Roberts Ohio State game now in overtime. Three and a half about to play on CBS. From the corner, it's Mitchell who's found a little bit of rhythm. Two of the big stars here is Mitchell and Butler. Finding T. All three guards touched it on that possession for a Baylor three. To his teammate, Austin Williams. Watch the pass. Good look, no look. It's good that they got him a little touch on that one. Yeah, role player. His season highs like five shot attempts this year. Williams got a piece of that Butler offering. Baylor still retains possession, but just 10 on the shot clock. Butler with the pullback. And just one of seven from three. Back the other way, it's Williams. Tracy Carter has been playing with three fouls for a long time. And he is not defensively not giving up any intensity. Largest lead for Hartford had been four. And that came in the 13-minute mark in the first half. Largest lead here for Baylor as they stretched it out at the end of the first half was 26. As Butler adding to his tally, he's got 13. Got right into the teeth of the defense at that free throw line and knocked it down. LJ Cryer, who's entered the game, by the way, for the first time. Allie you Meyer couldn't get it, but he goes down hard. Jared Butler, they're going to be talking about this one for a long time. He put it right there on the money. And he dunked that one over there near us. Tracy Carter is the graduate student. Two of the key pieces to get Hartford to the NCAA tournament for the first time in school history. And the number one seed is off and running. Baylor advancing 79 to 55 the final over the 16 seed Hartford Hawks